Hey, yeah, go ahead. Yeah, I got one down. All right, just leave your radio on. I'll leave mine on. I'm going to walk up the road a little bit and see if I can remember where you went up. There's no way you can drive in there, huh? Unfortunately, no. Okay. You what? I feel like got him tagged. I didn't need to get him gutted though. Yeah, let me dig up my GPS. I wonder if I punched in the coordinates, if I could walk right to you. I'm almost to, well, I'm not quite to the end of this upper road here. Yeah, I've never been on any of the roads up there, so not familiar with it. Yeah, now we got a quandary. He's not in a, any place he could uh, drive his ATV even close to, so. Now we got a little chore. My radio's going dead, but I got a hold of Roger, and he gave me the coordinates of where he is. He's about six tenths of a mile up there, so I've got it in my GPS. I'm gonna stash my rifle and pack and try to walk up to him help him get that deer out so I stash my stuff hope you can't see it camo it up cut some branches with my saw I'm taking a saw knife sharpener ropes game bags space blanket uh, my 22 pistol and about eight rounds of ammunition is all I have and of course my GPS Oh, shit. Yeah, I was just going to take my vest off and call you. Take a break. Come up here and take a break. Oh, I will. I guess I don't need this anymore. You know, it's, it's a good walking draw, but like everything else around here, it's freaking straight up. Oh, jeez. All right, let me, let me catch my breath here. I was clear over here and I was easing up to do to do and then boom boom I thought holy shit <laughs> I mean, was it right up here and then I saw these bill come busting down and they huh. stopped and looked and then they're and they took off I thought okay they're gone and that's so why I was sitting here all of a sudden two more deer popped up just over this little knoll and they came right at me from here to <sighs> from here to there that far huh two bucks a big spike tall spike and then this guy and uh, I just and it was down like this, and I thought, do I want to shoot or not? <laughs> and they started, and they went behind some trees, and so I got a little little whistle. And that buck looked, this one here, he stopped. He turned, and he came out from behind the trees and was kind of like, what the hell? And I, boom! Got him. Yeah, and then the, the spike just stood there. Really? And I said, get out of here, get! God dang, he's kind of big. <laughs> well, let, let me, uh... It's a big deer. Get some of this fat out of crap out of here. I wish the sun, well, I don't wish the sun anywhere, but. Uh, you should have cleared up there down through the buck brush, dragging him with the guts and all. It's like. <laughs> no. It's ridiculous. It's about killed me coming up this draw. Sacrificing a Christmas tree. So we're going to cut this, delim this. We're going to tie up the deer's legs, front and back. Maybe tie his front to his antlers. And we're going to put rope around there. He's going to be on one end, I'm going to be on the other, and we're going to drag it down that road. That's the best.
Yeah, Hope that's nice and solid. Oh, that feels good. <laughs> we ain't dragging. <laughs> yeah, we ain't dragging yet, it but it feels good. good. Roger's taking his rifle and pack to the quads and I'm headed back down the trail to get my rifle and pack, which I stashed about three and a half hours ago. Oh, and my grouse. I better gut him. Haven't done that yet. I don't want to ruin our dinner. Crazy man, drug the deer out by himself. Huh? Oh man, should have waited till I got back. God, I have a hell of enough time packing this thing out. How did you get him on the ATV by yourself? I stood on, I stood on this one. I drug him up here, head here, <sighs> legs there, and I stood on the top, stood up here, bent over. I got his leg. Ah, I got him about <laughs> halfway up, and his, hook, his legs got hooked on that. Oh, don't drop. And I got him. It's like, oh. <sighs> All right. I, was, I came around the corner and I went, what the hell? I was totally shocked. I thought maybe Ed or somebody dropped by to help you. No, nah, just me. Oh. And I got her Was I really gone that long? Oh. Long enough. I don't know what time, whatever, but I thought, shit, I gotta get going. Well, as soon as you left, I packed my half up. I started dragging. Drag, 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 caught my stuff, put my stuff up, drag, drag, drag. <laughs> and then, you know, I, I gotta get it up there. Okay. If I can't, then I'll stop. But it's like, oh. I thought, like, ooh, you know, backwards isn't too bad. I hit a big rock down here, almost did ass the little food kettle, but I caught myself. Oh, God. Son of a bitch, I what a day. I bungee course, baby. Yeah. I think I left one of my deer bags up at the scene of the crime. I thought well, I had I'm two. Gonna, I'll tie the sheet around here so it doesn't come up here, but I need to keep the dust out because he's quiet and he's dusty right now. Always keep the dust out. It's actually pretty clean inside, considering we drug it all <laughs> forever. Yeah, off that freaking mountain up there. Uh, uh, way over there. I know. Oh my God. Let's see. I love this walking road, but uh, yeah, when you get a deer, that's when the hell begins. It, it's all easy when you're hunting, and then the work begins when you shoot. Ah. Uh, Skin. Yeah, yeah. I got to get a glass and some ice and some Jamesons, because <sighs> I'm skinned. 